What's up guys, Iovo here and welcome to a brand new how-to video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a clean outro for your YouTube channel. It's very simple, it's very fast, and it's very easy. Now before we begin, be sure to smash that like button down below. Let's see if we can break 2,000 likes for this video. And with that being said, let's get started. Now the first thing you want to do is go ahead, open Photoshop, and go to File, New, and create a new file that is going to be 1080p so we're going to change the units to pixels and make it 1920 by 1080 and the background contents can be the background color we're going to click ok so the first thing we have to do is unlock the layer so double click on the layer and then click on ok and it's going to be layer zero now to change the background color you can go underneath the eraser select the paint bucket tool and then select a color you want the background to be like so and then click on it now in this case we used 21 21 21 as the background as it's a very nice dark gray color now once we have the background done we're going to go ahead make sure the layer is selected then we can right click and duplicate layer or we can just click on ctrl j to make a copy of the layer now we're going to go ahead go to our palette select a different color so dc 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 and use the paint bucket tool to make this box a different color. Now this is going to be for the video box. The only reason we duplicated the layer is so that the proportions are the same. Now we're going to press Control T, hold Alt and Shift, and then drag the corners down to make a video box. So this looks pretty good. We're going to go ahead and we're going to move it over here. Now if you guys want two video boxes, just press Control J again. And holding shift, you can drag out this second box like so. And we have our two boxes done. Now we're going to take these boxes and combine them into one layer. So we're going to hold shift, select both layers, right click, and then we're going to convert to smart object. Now to center these boxes, press Ctrl A, go to layer, align layers to selection, vertical centers, layer, align layers to selection, horizontal centers then press ctrl d now these boxes look kind of boring right now so we're going to add some effects to them just right click on this layer go to blending options and we can add a stroke to the actual boxes we're going to choose the size to be maybe seven maybe a bit more maybe even like 10 and we're going to make the color a light blue color like so and we're going to add a drop shadow now the opacity is going to be 100%, distance 0, and we can make the size and spread about 33, maybe even a bit more. We can try like 50, and that looks really good, and we're going to press OK. Now the final step is to add some text to the actual outro. So we're going to create a new layer. We're going to select the text tool. We're going to click over here. I'm going to use the font Quartzo, and we're going to type out, thanks for watching, like so. Um, it's too big right now, so we're going to press Control T. We're going to hold Shift, and we're going to make it smaller. That is great. And we are going to press Control A, Layer, Align Layers to Selection, Horizontal Centers, to align it horizontally. Then we're going to create one more layer for the text at the bottom over here, and we're going to type out Subscribe. And we're going to move it over here, press Control A, layer, align layers to selection, horizontal centers. Now you can also move the text up and down by selecting the layer and then using the arrow keys to kind of just perfect where you want the text to be positioned. But once you're done, we're going to add some blending options to the text. So right click on the text, go to blending options. We're going to add a drop shadow of 100% with the distance being zero and the spread in size being maybe 44, like so. We can also add a stroke if you guys want to and make the stroke like seven and we can change the color to whatever you want it to be. But I think a black stroke will look best like so. We're going to click OK. We're going to right click on the layer. We're going to copy layer style, go to the other text, right click and paste the layer style and boom, our outro is pretty much done. Now, once you're done your outro, you can do two more things. One is add an actual background image. So if I go over here, go to file and go to place, I can go ahead 
and look up a image for example maybe this one and as you can see it's like a background and i can move this layer above the base layer and then change the opacity like so and i have this really sick background now for the outro as well and one more thing you can do is also add some text on the boxes over here so if your editing software does not allow you to put videos on top you can put like previous and next video over here so your outro is done and once you're done go to file save as and save the file as a png so we're going to call this sample outro and we're done but that's about it for this video guys hopefully you did enjoy it if you did be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching my name is iovo and i'm signing out